Hello. Hello, I'm Frank Nicotero. Welcome to Street Smarts. As you may know, I've taken to the streets seeking ordinary men and women and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got their head on straight and who couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, Richie. Hey. Hello, Richie. And we have Gina. Hello, Gina. Hello, Gina's here. We got Gina. Hello, Gina. Gina. The winner keeps the loot, and the loser gets the boot. Now, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First, I met Dick from Wisconsin, who proved to be a real cheese whiz. Cheese. So, Dick, cheese is your business. That's my business, yep. I'm the number one cheese head here of the mall. So, Dick, how much cheese have you sold? Uh, last year, the cheese curd, that's one hot item. We sold 85,000 pounds of that in the mall here. That now, Dick, really cheese is good for you. Oh, you bet it is. A lot of people go on a special diet they got now. The Dick Cheese Diet. Darn right. What's the highest level of education you completed? Uh, high school. Was working in the cheese business when I was in high school already. So when you were a little dick, you were in the cheese business. Darn right. <laughs> now I'm a big dick and I'm still in the cheese business. <laughs> Pierogies. And Joanna, what do you do? Well, I'm a, a kind of a college student. And what's your name? Uh, George. Oh, George. Now, what kind of accent do you have? I've like kind of lived in every state across the U.S. And then I spoke Polish when I was little, so it's just oh. all built up until like. I, I, I speak a little Polish. Kielbasa. Do you like it? Pierogi. Yeah, how do you like your pierogies? Pierogies boiled with a little butter. Do you have any unusual talents or hobbies? I play chess. I, don't, I read. I swim. Volleyball. Okay, cool. Anything. Finally, Robert and I mysteriously switched bodies in the gopher state. So where are you from and what do you do, Rob? Well, I'm from here. I'm from Minnesota, Minneapolis. I work at Dayton Hudson. I'm a credit service. I do nothing, basically. So I understand you can imitate anybody. Well, if I wanted to, I can imitate you. Well, what is your name? Uh, Frob. Frob. So what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I like to get wild with the ladies. He likes to get jiggy with it, y'all. Jiggy. Right. <laughs> time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You're locking your choice, and a correct guess is going to get you 100 bucks. All right. Okay, guys, let's get this show on the road. The first question I asked to Dick, Joanna, and Robert, what American actor is often called the Duke? So flip up your paddles, guys. Let me know who knew that one. Was it Dick, Joanna, or Robert knew who the Duke was? Okay, all right. We're locked in. You both have Dick. And um, <laughs> stop the snickering. Gina, Gina, why did you choose Dick? Well, I, I mean, look at him. He works in a mall. He's wearing a cheese head. Right. What else does he do? He watches and TV. Rich, I don't really want to hear from you on this one, so let's find <laughs> out. <laughs> what American actor is often called the Duke? Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. <laughs> yep. John Wayne. John Wayne. I never went to a movie for the last 25 years. I'm was, not kidding you. What was the last movie you saw in the theater then? French Connection. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Dick got that wrong. He thought the king. He got it confused. Uh, for, for a correct answer, I'm telling you, we're going to go to Joanna. What American actor is often called the Duke? Isn't it um, one of those Western guys? Right. A West... Uh. Western guy? <laughs> John Wayne. There you go. Yes. The Duke. <laughs> I'll tell you what, she pulled it out. Way to go. All right, guys. We're not, we're not here to, what, I, well, D didn't get that one, guys. <laughs> here we go, guys. I showed Dick, Joanne, and Robert this card, and I asked them to pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Who knew it, guys? Who could do that, pronounce that word, use it in a sentence? Was it Dick, Joanna, or Robert? So start spinning there, Richie and Gina, let me know. Nobody got any money on the first one. Okay, you guys, you're locked in. And uh, Gina, you think Joanna knows this one, huh? Yeah, she, she said she's lived everywhere. Right. Come on, it should kind of go with the territory. Okay, let's see if we can get Hoping. you 100 bucks. Joanna, pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Tuxton. Um, when you go to take, tuck your son into bed, it's you, you do the tuxton. It's a special move. That's, that's, <laughs> well, the that's actually uh, Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gina, she got it wrong. Now, Richie, you think Robert's going to get this right? Yeah, I think Robert's going to get it right. I mean, he could imitate you, so I'm sure he knows where Tucson Let's is. Let's take a look, Richie. <laughs> Rob, pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Oh. <laughs> T 
Tuscan. Tuscan. He's down to sense. Can you please baby doll? Hand me my Tuscans. What is that? Underwear. I'm sorry, Richie, he missed it too. Like he thought they were Tuscans. All right, so bad. neither one got that. That's it looks bad. like Dick's the one who got that right. It's Tucson, a city in Arizona. <laughs> Tucson, Arizona. Okay, guys, last question of the round. According to the expression, what is the root of all evil? Who knew it? Dick, Joanna, or Robert, guys, what do you think, guys? Uh, knew what is the root of all evil? Old saying, what is the root of all evil? No money for anybody right. yet. Okay, all right, uh, you're both locked in. You both have Dick. Uh, let's see, Richie, you think Dick knows this? I think Dick, because he's got to get it right. If he didn't know John Wayne, he's got to know this Are you this guys one. in third grade? Yeah. All right, let's check it out. According to the expression, what is the root of all evil? The root of all evil is just somebody that just wants to have a good time, I guess. Right, and what about eating cheese? Eating cheese is good. How much cheese have you eaten? God, I think maybe 10, 12,000 pounds or more. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. He's Dick done. got, He's uh, done. got He's it wrong. Done. I'm sorry for a correct answer. We're going to oh. go to Robert in Minnesota. According to the expression, what is the root of all evil? Money, the root of all evil. There you go. Money is the root of all evil. That's right. Money is the root of all evil. All right. Let's recap the scores here. Richie's got oh, zero. And Gina, you also have zero. All right, that's okay. Don't worry, guys. It's all right. Our players will muster every brain cell in their body to figure out who blew it when we return. We'll be right back. Phil, pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. You want to get it away from me there? Anchovies. Archichovies. Hell, I don't know. Archichovies. Street smarts, let's beat our players. Now we're here with Richie. Now, Richie, I understand you're quite the ladies' man. Tell me about what it's like uh, when you go out. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? You must have been talking to my friends. Okay. Um, anyway, I was at this bar at a local club and I saw this tall girl on the other end of the bar. Right. And I'm really into tall girls, so I proceeded to take her to the dance floor. And, you know, we were getting our groove on, feeling right. the move, and I was drunk, so all I noticed was just her butt and her legs. I ended up getting her phone number and I went back to the bar, and my friends are sitting there laughing at me, and a couple of them uh -oh. are looking at me in disgust. Yeah. I was dancing with the uh, club cross-dresser. It was a guy. Yeah. Oh, very nice, yeah. Richie. Yeah. And you called her a couple times, I'm sure? No, okay. I didn't. Uh, I did not call. All right, now, Gina. <laughs> had a nice butt, though. Now, Gina, I heard you played a little one-on-one -on -one with a L.A. Laker. What happened um, there? Yeah. Well, I was dancing at a, doing a little dance routine at a sporting event oh. and really had to go to the bathroom. So right. I ran outside, ran back in, opened the door, and bam, hit him right in the face, breaking his nose and his jaw. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. Right, Hospital Gina. trip. Hospital oh, trip. Oh, very nice. All right, well, thanks for being here, both of you guys. So we're going to try to get you some money this round. Round, all right? Yeah. All right, the bell's yeah. about to sound yeah. for round two of this battle, a round we like to call Who Blew It? This time we have the same question, only two of our sidewalk savants, one answer wrong, right and one answer wrong. Each time Richie or Gina correctly identifies which scholar skunked the question, they get 200 bucks. Now, you guys can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap, and here's how you do it. When you hear a question you think will perplex your opponent, punch the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. And remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. Here's the first question I asked to both Joanna and to Robert. Uh, I showed them this photo, and I asked them, who is this man? So, oh my God, you've been dunced right away, Richie. Throw the cap up there, Gina. Put the cap on his head. $200 on the line. If you don't get this, she gets the money. Richie, if you get it right, the $200 is yours, and she's going to sport the cap. I'm going to read it again. you got five seconds. Yes, sir. Look at that picture and tell me who is this man. Saddam Hussein. It's the right answer. Way to go. $200 for Richie. Block and Gina's done. Now, guys, go ahead and flip up your paddles, and let me know who blew it. Joanna or Robert blew this question. Let me see who you think. All right, and... All right, okay, you're locked in, and uh, let's see, the cap's stand on you. Now, Gina, you think Joanna has no idea on this one. Well, all I know is the dunce player says that Joanna doesn't because she didn't know Tucson. Tucson? Okay, right, so. okay, let's see if we can get you 200 bucks and tie the game. Joanna, who is this man? He looks like a Joe. A Joe? A Joe. What's his last name? Smith. Joe Smith, and what's he famous for? Um, he was a blacksmith. He was a blacksmith. He was a blacksmith. That's Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Well, I've never seen him in a suit. I've only seen him on that movie Hot Shots where he, you know, when he had the... Right there, the double there, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> she blew a way to go, Gina. Two on the three, we got a tie game. Now, uh, for a correct answer, we're going to check out Robert's clip. Rob, who is this man? Saddam Hussein. <laughs> hey, 
you got to give a lot of props to this man. He been trying, he been trying, but you will not succeed. Exactly. And what was his name again? Saddam Hussein. Sound like he crazy, Hussein. <laughs> I'm sorry, Richie, he got that one right. We got a tie game here. Let's move on to the next question. Here's a question I asked to Dick and to Robert. If someone says they've got a cockapoo, what are they talking about? Let me know, guys, who you think, who blew it? Dick or Robert? Someone says they got a cockapoo. Okay, you're locked in? Are you locked in, Richie? Yes, I am. Okay, locked let's in. see here. Uh, Richie, you think Robert blew this one? I'm, I think Robert blew it. Okay. I don't think he knows anything, All so. Right, let's take a look. You better blow this one. If someone says they've got a cockapoo, what are they talking about? They gotta go do a number two. They got uh -oh. diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. He blew it. Way yeah. to go, Richie. Yeah. Yeah. You got a two and a lot of lead. Uh, evidently, uh, Dick's the one who got it right. Let's take a look, Gina. If someone says they've got a cockapoo, what are they talking about? I'm talking about a dog. Oh, there you yeah. Go. Do you like dogs? Yep, three of them myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gina, he got that right. Dick knew that one. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, here's the last question of the round. I asked a Dick and Joanna, what sound does the Roadrunner make? Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Dick or Joanna? Didn't know that one. Gina, you're trailing by 200 bucks. She's staying with Dick, I think. Richie, you're locked in. You're both locked in. Both going with Dick. Uh, Gina, you think Dick blew this one? Yeah, absolutely, because I just can't. Well, I don't know. Maybe okay. cheese heads, but no. Right. No noise for him. Let's take a look. I don't need to hear it. Dick, what sound does the Roadrunner make? The Roadrunner. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Pluck, pluck, pluck. <laughs> meep, meep. Meep, meep, meep. No, try that. Meep, 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 That's right. You know. You both had Dickie Blue. The correct answer was, mm -hmm. looks like uh, Joanna's the one who got that right. Let's recap our scores here. Now, Gina, you got $400, but Richie's got $600. All right, we'll find out who's hot to try when our players pick their ponies next. They're fighting. All right, welcome back. Tighten your chin strap and sharpen those spurs because it's time to saddle up and... Pick your pony! This time, Richie and Gina will each choose one of the three test dummies for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is now worth $300. That's some big money here in round three. And we're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round, guys. Can only be used once, and it's worth $300. The player who is trailing chooses first. Gina, that's you. So who would you like to saddle up? I am picking Joanna. All You're going with Joanna? Yes. Going with your girl? All right, yes. very nice. Now, Richie, you got a slight lead here. Who do you want to see? I'm going with Robert. I'm going with Robert. Slight, okay, guys. Slightly. All right. But Gina, you're only trailing by 100 bucks here. And here's the first question I asked to Joanna. Who was Winston Churchill? Do you think uh, she got that right or wrong, Gina? You can take the leader with the correct prediction. You think she got it wrong? I'm going with definitely wrong because she has let me down every time. Okay. All right. Let's take so a look. Please do it again. All right. <laughs> Who was Winston Churchill? Winston Churchill. Um, he was, um, I believe, a preacher at Black Rights. Am I correct? Preacher of Black Rights? Religionist. Am I right? Uh, he was leader of England. <laughs> yeah. No, oh my God, Churchill, where Omar, oh no, I did it. She got it wrong, way to go, Gina. $300 for you, it takes your total to 700. You got a slight lead over Richie. She knew, uh, she uh, missed it actually. Okay, Richie, uh, here's the first question I asked to Robert. I asked him, what are bell bottoms? Do you think Robert got that right or wrong? I think he got it right. He came through on this one? All right, I think he came through on this one. See if you can retake one. your lead here, Richie. I think he did. What are bell bottoms? Them, boy, it's like some, they like, they floods. I call them floods. They bell bottoms or something. They, they like tight up here. And then when they go down, they flat out. They something like back in the old days, like uh, the Temptations used to wear, yeah. you know? <laughs> All right, you got it right. Way to go, Richie. Spray it up to the case of the 900. We're going back and forth here. Hey, new bell bottoms. All right, Gina. Okay. You're very excited. That's good. I'm ready. I asked Joanna, what's wrong with you if you have amnesia? Do you think she got that right or wrong? I think maybe she does, but... Okay. Do uh, <laughs> you think she got this right? I do. Okay. I'm gonna go with her. I'm gonna hope she doesn't have it, and I'm gonna okay. go with her. <laughs> right. Okay, let's find out, see if you can retake that lead. What's wrong with you if you have amnesia? Uh, you can't remember anything. <laughs> she got it right. Way to go, Gina. Three hundred bucks for you. You're back in the lead. Good game here, guys. Yeah. All right, here's the next question, Richie, for Robert. <laughs> you all right? Yes, okay. All right. <laughs> I asked Robert, who is famous for saying, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit? Do you think he knew? Oh my oh my god, Gina Dunst just thrown on his head there. Richie, 300 bucks on the line. I'm gonna read it again. You got five seconds to answer the question. Who is famous for the saying? Who is famous for saying, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit? Hmm, Johnny Cochran. That's the right answer. Way to go. 300 bucks goes to Richie. Throw the dust on her. Gina, he blocked her dunce. I'm sorry. Now, Richie, 
Richie, do you think do you think Robert what? got that right or wrong? Uh, I'm hoping he got it right. Okay, let's find out. He better have got it right. Who is famous for saying, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit? What's that baseball player name? Kirby Puckett. <laughs> Kirby Puckett? Yo. Ex Minnesota twin? Ex Minnesota twin. He got that wrong, Richie. I'm sorry. He did not know I Kirby Puckett. No, I was in Minnesota. I don't know. He didn't know, know Johnny Cook. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jenny, here's the next question to Joanna. Uh, this is the last one of the round for you, so you can take the lead here. What two Midwestern cities are known as the Twin Cities? Do you think she got that right or wrong? Gina, she got it wrong? Uh, no, she didn't know Tucson, so um, let's, okay. let's stick with that not knowing. Okay, you're running with the Tucson thing. Let's find out. <laughs> what two Midwestern cities are known as the Twin Cities? The Twin Cities. I mean, oh, I used to, um, oh, jeez. I swear to God, I lived in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago and New York. No, you're wrong. Chicago and something else? Nope. New York and something else? Nope. Vancouver? Nope. Denver? Nope. Um, yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's... it's Minneapolis and St. Paul. Oh, I never lived in either of those, no. <laughs> it just sounds really <laughs> She got it wrong. Way to go, Gina. 300 bucks for you. Gives you $1,300, Minneapolis and St. Paul. All right, last question of the round here, Richie. You can take the lead again, going into the wager of death. I asked Robert, what is Saki? Do you think Robert got that right or wrong, Richie? You're only oh, trying by 100 bucks here. This is big. I think he got it wrong. All right, if this is a correct prediction, this will give you a nice advantage in the wager of death. Let's, Let's find out. Get Saki what wrong. is Saki? So Saki. Man, yeah, like a sock with a with a ball and you socky something, you sock. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. So you just hit something. Like Homie the Clown had that, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Boom. Homie don't. <laughs> you got it wrong, Richie. Way to go. Sock and socky it's a, a Japanese alcoholic drink. All right, let's recap the scores. We got a lot of money in this game. Gina, thirteen hundred dollars. But Richie's got fifteen hundred dollars. Got that last prediction correct. That was very important. Now, when we return, Richie and Gina will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Dick, Joanna, and Robert. I asked them, finish this saying, you can't see the forest for the... Hmm. So check your pulse, because next up on the hair-raising conclusion of Street Smarts is... The Wager of... Stay with us. We'll be right back. Richie and Gina, here's the story. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. We've got some big totals here. Let's see, Gina, you got $1,300. Richie, you got $1,500. And remember, only the winner is leaving any richer, which means everything rides on this final question. And here's a question I asked to Dick, Joanna, and Robert. Finish this saying, you can't see the forest for the... Okay, there it is. Now, uh, Gina, you're trailing, but you're so in this game. You're only trying by 200 bucks. Gina, who do you want to see? Who's Clip? It's very important. Everything's riding on this. You're going to go with Dick. Now, Richie, how about you? You want to go with Robert. All right, well, nobody picked uh, Joanna. We're going to say bye to her. And uh, we're going to check out uh, Dick's clip here, Gina. This is big. See if you can make a comeback. Finish this saying. You can't see the forest for the... Fire? For the fire. Oh, if it's on fire, you can't see the forest. It's burned up. All right. Okay, that's a wrong answer, Gina. Dick got that wrong. What did you say? Did you say he would get it wrong? Let's see. You said he'd get it right. I don't know. How much is that going to cost you of your $1,300? You wagered $1,000. Takes you down to $300. All right, Gina, it's not over yet. Now, Richie, you got Robert. You're in the driver's seat right now. Let's watch this clip. Finish this saying. You can't see the forest for the... For the beers. For the beers? For the beers. Why, what is beer doing in a forest? A beer just sit there, hibernate. Eat up every oh. little creature that. I thought you said beer. Oh, not beer. You were saying bear. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, he got that wrong also. It's you can't see the forest for the trees is the correct answer. Uh, important thing is here, Robert, he missed it. Or Ricky, he missed it. Or Richie, whatever I want to call you. Richie's Richie, fine. yeah. You, Robert missed the clip. You're in the lead. What'd you say you would do? Did you say you'd get it wrong like you did? Oh, he did! <laughs> Richie, how much you can add to that $1,500? this saying you can't see the forest for the for the trees there you go very good i totally guess <laughs>